Ganun po ba mga babae? Because of our shoe wear. Prone din po kami dun sa mga... Uh, shoe wear oh. naman tayo. Because of the oh. shoe wear naman tayo. Prone din po ba kami Pwede pagkakaroon rin. ng anterior knitting? Na mga naka-heels, mm. naka-stilettos, yeah. diba? Oh. Kaya ang ano pa rin dyan would be dapat yung posture, dapat yung strength ng lower extremities mo. Mm -hmm. um, yun nga, sinestrengthen mo siya dapat para maiwasan yung uh, injuries or I would say yung diseases na mangyari doon sa uh, knee, knee at saka sa back kasi yung, yes. yung I would say nagko-compensate yung back pag naka-high heels eh. So, mm -hmm. um, kailangan yung posture mo, you're very much aware of your posture, uh, kailangan yung muscles mo, tinotone mo. So, these are the things na you will have to look into. Um, kung mahilig ka mag-heels or kung kailangan na mag-heels ka palagi. What about yung mga naisip ko lang, yung mga drivers po, like yung mga taxi drivers, mga grab drivers po natin na laging nakaupo lang, yeah. tapos syempre, kunyari, o, automatic sila, one feet lang yung ginagamit, Actually, one hindi. leg, nakakakos ba yan? Mas yung manual. Ah, mas yung manual. manual. Kasi yung automatic na car, malambot yung gas. Mm -mm 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 -mm. <laughs> diba? Yung clutch, mm -hmm. yun yung, yun yung, yung nakakangalay. nakakangalay talaga. So, pag tinignan mo yung article na, na I'm basing the discussion on, mm -hmm. sinabi talaga niya na those who do clutch driving. Ayun. Oh. Talaga po? Oh, oh. no. Ano daw? No, no. Really? Oh, no. Hindi na tayong bagong coach. Hindi ka naman automatic na coach. Hindi ka naman atang matagal nagda-drive. So, okay. Hindi ko na na-traffic. Ako na lang sign. Kala ko parang... Hindi ka na ng bagong coach. Or ipapahinga na lang ang mga... Parang mas mahal pag pahinga. Parang mahal pag coach. Kenten mo na lang yung quads, hamstrings, tsaka gastroc muscles mo. Oh, Ito ako sa mga nami-misalay niya kasi minapanood ako na parang ayaw ko kung football player siya na, na yung kneecap niya na, na dislocate hey. dito. Uh -huh. Tapos parang binalik lang nung mm -hmm. siguro orthopedic surgeon po nila yon Binalik na ganyan. Kapag ganun po ba parang na-stretch na yung, yung, yung... Most probably may napunit na ligament. Ha, pag napunit po, bumabalik pa ba yun parang sa shoulder? Bumabalik Surgery. pa po ba na 100%? Oh. Mm -hmm. Ay, hindi, na, hindi, na, hindi rin po siya nag-heal tulad nung... Uh, Well, if you're talking about a professional athlete, ang hinahabol mo dyan is yung maibalik mo agad sa support, di ba? Yes. So kung gusto mo siya gawing conservative, mas matagal yun. So most mm -hmm. of the time, these athletes, we do surgery. surgery. Depending on, yun na nga, level of activity. Araw pag nabalik na okay, no? Hindi <laughs> <laughs> kasi hindi ka professional athlete. So yun yung ano doon. Titignan mo dyan, ano ba tong pasyente ko, atleta ba to, ang kinabubuhay ba nito ay eh, yung nilalaro niyang sport. Kasi katulad, yun na, ako sinayam yun, kung, kung Joshua, Lar, uh, Junisha lang siya na, Joshua, Jun, ah, kaya. Kita yun na, Dokja. Nalito na si Dokja. Dokja. Kung Joshua lang siya, or si Ian na hindi naman professional mm -hmm. athlete, pwede nating i-offer yung conservative management. Mm -hmm. But, um, if they're like, pero pwede pa rin naman sabihin mo sa akin na hindi, Dok, gusto kong magpa-opera. Mm -hmm. diba? I mean, the surgical option is always there. Um, but I would say that most of the time, it's the professional athletes who would uh, opt to undergo surgery um, more acutely compared mm -hmm. to yung sa mga, uh, say, weekend warriors mm -hmm. or yung um, hindi professional mm -hmm. na mga naglalaro. Mm -hmm. Ito po common ko nakikita sa mga basketball players naman. Na kapag kunwari sumakit yung tuhod nila, parang pinapajak pa nila mas lalo yung paa nila. Is that safe? And then can you go back to game agad-agad? Kasi sasabihin nila na sayang kailangan pa ako ni coach eh. Maybe, diba I, think, I, think, I think they're diba? trying to see if they, are, they will be able to play. Mm -hmm. They will be able to put weight on the on the limb because obviously kung pinadyak niya at masakit eh, din, din siya yeah, I think yeah, yeah. yun yung ano but dun. some players would still go back to playing okay pa ba yun syempre hindi na diba Dok? Dok? Kasi, na, kung kaya nila mm -hmm. kung hindi nila kaya at saka kung kumikita sila doon kakayanin <laughs> syempre oh, kakayanin oh, talaga oh, 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 um, in, in, in tournaments like that or I would say in competitions like that ang last say dyan would be the team physician Okay. So if the team physician allows him to go inside the court, eh, it's on them. Look about the wear and tear, naman. Pag ko nyare, sobrang lumalala na wear and tear. May meron po ba umabot sa na fracture na yung kneecap? Kasi may na may narinig po na fracture yung kneecap niya. Most of the time, fracture ng kneecap trauma. 
trauma po. Pero sa pagka-wear and tear, hindi naman po nagka-fracture. Parang numini, ano po nang yan numini? Grabe ka naman makapanip. Hindi kasi <laughs> nagtataka po parang kung wear and tear, parang nakikis-kis po siya na nakikis-kis. Kaya cartilage. Ah, yung cartilage. Pero it yung... shouldn't be enough. I've never heard of a, of a patellar osteoporotic fracture. So, mm. so usually it's really, uh, the problem with your kneecap would be arthritic or wear and tear, pero hindi siya like nagpa-fracture because nag-edad siya mm -hmm. or, or um, because of osteoporosis. It, it's, as I said, I've never heard of a patient na may osteoporotic patellar fracture. Usually, bumagsak yan, may tumama or That's something. Mm -hmm. Pero pag kunyari, so, yun nga po, pagka sobrang nakiskis na, pwede po bang i-replace yung kneecap? Ah, may mga ni-replace. Mm -hmm. Hindi, okay na mag-manual. <laughs> Parang this Hindi mo pa tinatanong sa akin kung magkano yung prosyek. Ayoko na po pala. Kotse na lang po pala. Kotse na lang. Mas mura lang yung kotse. Mas mura sa kotse. Ay, kasi yung isang total ni replacement, usually, sinasabihan namin yung mga pasyente, ah, The implant is probably around 150,000 per knee. Tapos, syempre, depending on which hospital you're going to have the surgery on, ganyan. So, we usually say, well, syempre, pag government hospital, eh di, mas mura, but the implant is the same. Kasi, hindi naman iba yung implant na ginagamit sa government hospital sa isang private hospital. So, the implant price is the same whether government, whether private. So, magkakatalo ka kumbaga sa operation room charges, sa kwarto, doctor's fee, anesthesia, ganyan, ganyan, ganyan. But we usually tell for private patients, we usually say minimum of 500,000, maximum of, I would say, 1 million. Kung kunyari ikaw ay say may hypertension, may diabetes, tapos nag-complicate, blah, blah, blah. So, mga ganyan. So, kotse na. Kotse na. Pabili ka na. Palit kotse. Kotse na ng kotse. Depende kung ano yung kotse. Ang bibilin mo, di ba? Pero, Doc, yung... Ay, go ahead. Doc, saan po kinakabit yung kneecap na implant? Sa kneecap? Sa mis... Tinuturnilyo po ba doon? Si Mesimento. Ah, si Mesimento. And that's lifetime na hindi mo na kailangan ipacheck up agad. Hindi, kasi may wear and tear din ng implants. So, it's a longevity of around 10, 15 years. Tapos kapag ka na wear and tear, napapalitan na po or... Pwedeng iparang... Palitan mo ulit. Ah, palit na po. Gastos ulit. Gastos ulit. Isang sasakyan na naman. Isang sasakyan na naman. Sabi sa'yo, kotse. Pag kotse ka na nga lang. What about yung training? Eh, ganun din naman ang kotse pag 10 years din papalitan mo. Kailangan palitan mo rin eh. Diba? Tama. Yung training naman ng... Sinasabi nila, trampoline training and aqua training for athletes. Is that good for the joints, especially for the knees of the athletes? Trampoline ay... Maybe. Kasi sabi niya, lesser impact on the yeah, knee daw. Yeah, kasi eh. may ano siya, yes, yes. nagbabounce back ka eh, compared sa dito ka tumalun, di ba? But I would say water better. Aqua therapy. Oh. Yeah, kasi they do it eh, yung mga athletes natin, mm. they do kasi aqua therapy. Kasi it's really therapy. part of, uh, uh, it's really part of the physical therapy uh, treatment regimen. Yung mga aqua therapy, hydrotherapy, nakikita mm. mo sila sa swimming pool, mm. nag, uh, tumatakbo sila sa yes. pool, may weight sila sa, may ankle weight sila, tapos they do the exercise on the pool, mga ganyan. Okay. Um, yung trampoline, usually kasi ginagamit for balance training. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like, di ba, syempre, hindi man stable yung trampoline eh. So, sometimes, like, sport-specific exercises, pinapastep on one foot sa trampoline, tapos binabatuhan ng bola, mm -hmm. sinasalo nila, or mm -hmm. buti kaya, um, sinisipa yung bola. So, mga ganun. Pero, uh, maybe it's, for me, I think, I don't know, maybe baka better yung water therapy. Water. Pero na-feature po kasi ni Ian, yung ano naman, yung jump rope naman. Yung ito po bang jump rope, pwede po ba siya makatulong sa maiwasan yung mga knee pains or injuries? I think you have to learn how to properly jump. Yun mo na. So may improper way po ng pagtalo. Oo. Di ba, hindi ka nakikinig kanina. Kami nung coach kanina, paano ka maglalandi? Sa ball. Yes. Foot. And then, syempre, if you're using chinelas or nakasapaka, nakapaaka lang, syempre, hindi okay yun kasi yung impact, ina-absorb ng lahat ng, mm. ng paa mo, di ba? Yung paa mo, to ankle, to knee, to hip, no? So, there are proper ways of uh, doing, of jumping, and, and also, dinedevelop mo yung endurance and yung strength, eh. So, I think it's good therapy, pero... I would say you have to also focus on the other extra, other muscles. Because in my or I think it's more cardio exercise, the jump rope. 
Mm. Or hindi po siya pang-strengthen ng muscle. It also helps, pero kung baga, kung, kung gusto mo talaga na i-focus yung target muscle, yun. target okay. mo talaga yung muscle uh, exact, your specific mm -hmm. muscle group, then you will have mm -hmm. to really do specific exercises for the quads. I'm not saying na hindi niya nasa-strengthen yung lower extremity muscles mo. Pero just like running, yung iba kasi pag runner sila, feeling nila malakas na yung legs. Mm -hmm. Pero may weakness din yung inner thigh muscles nila, may weakness din yung ibang muscles, and may over, um, kumbaga hindi balance. No? So sometimes, you have to uh, complement the specific ah. exercise with focused or targeted muscle exercise. Mm -hmm. Parang hindi siya pang lahat ng <laughs> hindi lahat gumagana nga pag nag uh, jump rope. Yes. Yeah, so. Mostly endurance daw sabi kanina. Oh, endurance, cardio stamina, cardio I would say. Mm -hmm. Yung sa mga surgery naman po no, tanong ko lang, may limitation ba yun when it comes to age? Like for example, mga 70 age plus na gusto pa niya magpaano, magpa oh. oh, so okay lang. That's a go. Ages, Walang restriction. Pero siguro naman, pag kunyari, hindi man naglalakad na yun, hindi man mo So, oh. you will really look into mm -hmm. ano bang activity nitong uh, ah, pasyente? Ano bang goal niya? Eh, kung ang goal niya, mag-jump row pa at 85, hello. <laughs> diba? So, and you won't recommend a patient who yes, underwent yes. total knee replacement to still jump row. Mm. Hindi na talaga 100%. Na. Eh, kasi, i-wear mo yung, oh, sige, pwede. Pero okay. mag-as, umasa po kayo na in five years, re-replace. Ulit, ulit tayo. Ulit. 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 Kasi mas mabilis mo siya eh, we wear it. And this is the reason why we rarely recommend or we seldom recommend knee replacement for younger individuals because we know that the revision rate of a younger individual is higher. Why? Eh, mas higher activity level mm -hmm. niyan eh. Mm -hmm. So we really try to delay as much as possible yung knee replacements ng younger individuals. Mm -hmm. Pero it's not naman na Kunyari, meron naman mga iba, rheumatoid arthritis, 30s lang yung pasyente, eh, hindi na makakilos, makawa ka naman. <laughs> Sige, na-replace mo na yan. Pero yun nga, um, on the premise na your patient understands na in about 10 years, baka mag-revision siya. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mas maganda pa rin na iwasan kaysa umasa tayo po sa mga yeah, replacement. Yeah. So for me yeah, kasi, I would, still, <laughs> I would still recommend that people exercise. Kasi sinasabi nila, eh, whether sedentary, whether nag-exercise, mm. mag-arthritis mag naman ako. Mas better pa rin yung gumagalaw ka kasi mas, I would say, mas maganda pa rin yung outcome ng mga nag-exercise mm. kaysa dun sa mga talaga namang hindi sila nag-exercise. Mm.